Dear Joseph of Genesis, aka Josephine, aka Joe. I'm claiming your story for every queer kid told that we are unholy. I'm claiming your story for every queer told that in order to love, we must let our fate die. I'm gonna put it in a pocket over my heart, next to Ruth and Naomi, next to David and Jonathan, next to Hega and Deborah, and seat them at the last Passover with Jesus and Lazarus. Yes, I am taking Jesus with me too, dear Pastor. <laughs> to you who claims your words are from God, but whose book has been pledged to King James. Know what allegiances you keep. We have been lying about my people for too long. Thank you. It's okay. Oh, pretty baby. When I lay my head down, don't leave me so soon and give me a few more hours for the sun gets out of bed and leaves me here alone. I see me screaming to be seen at white folks that only see nice, that are more offended by my usage of the word fuck than the fact that the police pulled a gun on me last week for laughing too loud while black. I hear, I hear wasted sentiments of, I can't believe that still happens. I hear progressive as my obituary. I see white mouths spinning the politest of bullshit, thinking their words alone must mean something to me. I see them eyeing me up and down, wanting me to recognize them for their virtues, but anger is a fucking virtue. So instead, I operate pen, punctuate with del estrogen once every two weeks so I can feel like a woman again. This rhythm of RX melodies sends music through my blood. Morse code through my genetic code. TikTok on my timeline at 5 a.m. because... Well, because I still can't sleep. So instead, I stare at the ceiling fan and hope that these round ovals will dance on the blades like sugar plum fairies. Until sunrise, choose my next Just to finish. Almost a couple weeks out.